a lot of stuff with like Google Play, Amazon. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, we're constantly in and out of LA, Atlanta, New York. You do, you do most of that stuff in, in LA or Nashville? Uh, well, L.A. and Atlanta, okay. yeah. See, I got in on the business part of everything. I own a record label and I have a publishing company. Okay. But I lay low, man. I right. lay really fucking low. Right I don't I don't want people associating me with that. Like, here I own a staffing company. I do some marketing for a physical therapy Disney company. Hell. Yeah, oh, no, if I wasn't, I'd be stoned on the beach all day. Right. Like, I'm a stoner, so I have to work right. to not be a fucking stoner. So if I don't have... Be worse than if I don't have Ryan Harris. David Ryan Harris. Ron, David Ryan Harris. Yeah, three names. Like, uh, David Ryan Harris, and you're not even from Alabama. Nope. <laughs> uh, I know. It's like, uh, it's like David, David Lee Roth, David Allen Coe, David <laughs> Allen Greer. David. Uh, David Ryan Harris. Yeah, David Ryan Harris. Yes. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Courtney Bird, again. I'm here with David Ryan Harris, and this guy is a wonderful well-respected musician. He has played with John Mayer and some really big names, but most importantly, and what I want to focus on is your solo career. So focus on me. Let's focus, focus let's on me. Focus. So tell us what you're doing here. Tell us about the 38 Songwriters Festival. This was my sixth uh, 38 Songwriters Festival. Um, I think they get progressively um, better and better, and this year was especially cold, but I played, I think my, my set, this year was like my best one of all all the years that I played. Um, it's kind of like a, like a class reunion for the songwriters because you get to see writers that you that you know and love, but you're always kind of crisscrossing paths and you don't get to hang out. So it's it's fun for us. It's great to be around people that want to see the folks that write the songs as opposed to just the people that sing the song. So I love it. Yeah, and you know what's so sad is so many people will ask, what is the, why, what's the difference in the songwriter and the artist? And, you know, for a songwriter, they write the song, you know, you're very vulnerable, that's something very personal to you, and it's awesome when a bigger artist gets to perform or, you know, use your song, but as a songwriter, it's so different, isn't it? Well, I think a lot of times um, the, when, the, when the artist is singing someone else's song, they're um, they're not as connected to the emotion as the songwriter. Those are those are my words and my heartbreak and my whatever. And of course, other people can relate to it um, and sing those songs. But I think there's really something special about hearing um, the the song, the, hearing it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Right, and you're very unique in the sense that not only are you a writer and you get to perform your songs, but you also get to play with some of the biggest names in the industry. So you're, how do you, how do you feel about kind of switching from songwriter to musician to artist? How do you feel about that? Uh, I guess I sort of creatively have diversified my portfolio, <laughs> um, and it's just, uh, I mean, it keeps me from getting bored um, when I'm playing by myself. Or touring, doing solo stuff, I'm like, oh, I just want to play with other people. Then when I'm playing with other people, I'm like, I just want to play by myself. And <laughs> when I'm, you know, when I'm the guy, I'm like, I just want to be the guy behind the guy. So I've been really fortunate to um, enjoy doing all those things and be able to do them at least well enough to get a few people to pay attention. Um, but, I, you know, I, I love it. For me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't think there's any one of those hats that I would want to wear on a permanent basis. So a lot of the songwriters here are from Atlanta, they're from um, Florida, they're from Nashville, but tell us where you're at. Well, I live in Los Angeles, but I actually grew up in Atlanta. I say I was, I was born in Chicago, I learned how to do bad stuff in Atlanta, and then I currently live, live in L.A. But Atlanta's where I, you know, sort of honed my craft and, um, you know, sort of cut my teeth and started my first bands, and it's, that's in my heart. So, you guys, it's been a wonderful interview with you. Why don't you tell everyone where we can find you? You can find me in the club, bottle full of butt. No. You, <laughs> I was thinking that, I swear. Uh, you can find me. Um, DavidRyanHarris.com. You can go there for um, uh, tour dates and probably links to, I don't know, all sorts of David Ryan Harris related stuff. I'm on Spotify and iTunes. Uh, I music, I don't know, all that stuff. All right, check him out, follow him, give him a like, and stay tuned with us. Actually, I'm getting ready to wrap up. It's the end of the festival, so thank you, 38 TV. I'm Courtney Bird, and we appreciate you.